explanation. The fact you got you, Hagi Tang, the fact third time, Shito, maybe the definite Shito, Hagi Tang, come around with your thumb as well, pass the elbow, turn to high block, keeping your left hand on the inside, back fist, pushing them back a little bit straight and turning their body here, connecting the elbow to the, uh, the shoulder to the elbow. And then the fingers go behind the leg, keep it where it is, and then you step. Okay, we'll do from this side. Higashi, Kagite, Shuto. Don't grab together here. This goes further. This hand's gonna stay on the inside. So they punch, eye block, come to the other side of the hand, the outside of the punch. Come straight in. Back fist, use this foot here. Keep the pressure on, don't come back on it. Slide underneath it. And great. Okay. <laughs> After the shoot go, start moving your body, your jiku here. Don't stay back here. Stay at the jiku. Punch the next hand, high block, this hand to the inside. And then turn your body so that your arms are matching. Can you come close? Okay, turn your body so that your arm and wrists are matching. And then come straight in and push them back just a little bit, enough that they don't really notice it. Okay. Keep the momentum moving forward. Turn back this way and you want to twist their body and step in. So a couple of key points is that think of the hand to here to here, the links of a chain, and you're kind of locking all the links of the chain by twisting your body, you're locking your whole body up. When you step forward to here, so you go back this, turn your hand this way, the narrowest point, and then curl up the fingertips, curl and push towards you behind your leg. And then you replace the leg with your heel. And when you move in kata like this, here, that's what you're doing. So you're going here. Once you kind of meet maximum pressure so they can't step back, it's locked in, your heel goes behind their heel. And then you just keep moving forward and they'll fall. Thank you.